In this lesson, we're going to look at common tangent lines. So in this diagram here, we have one circle with another circle inside it. And they're actually tangent to each other here. These are internally tangent circles. And the question you may get is, how many common tangent lines do these two circles have? And the answer is just one. We could draw a tangent line coming down like this. They have this tangent line in common. There's no other tangent line you could draw to either of these circles that it will have in common with the other circle. So like if we drew a tangent line here, for example, it wouldn't be tangent to the big circle. It's only tangent to the small circle. Here we have two other circles, and these are tangent to each other, but they're not inside each other. They're, one of them is outside the other one. So these are externally tangent circles. And the question is, how many common tangent lines do these circles have? Well, similar to the internally tangent circles, they're tangent at one spot, so we could draw a tangent line there. Okay, but these two circles actually have other tangent lines as well. They have a tangent line here, and a tangent line here. So internally tangent circles have one common tangent line. Externally tangent circles have three common tangent lines. Two other examples would be circles that overlap. So we have overlapping circles. So we can't draw a tangent line here. This cuts between the two circles. Instead, the only two tangent lines we have are these external ones, or these ones on top and bottom, like this. So overlapping circles only have two tangent lines. Here we have two circles that don't touch each other. So we'll call these non-touching circles. They don't overlap, and they're not tangent to each other. These have the most amount of tangent lines, the most number of tangent lines. Like this, we have top and bottom here. So we have these two. Then for the lines that, the circles that were tangent, we had one in the middle, but these are not tangent to each other, so we have to get rid of that. But we can draw a line like this, which is tangent to both of them. And likewise, a line going the opposite direction. Just tangent to both of them. So non-touching circles have four common tangents.